In this video, we are going to discuss about the paragonomiasis, the lung fluke, and its life cycle. Paragonomiasis is a foot-borne parasitic disease, which is caused by Paragonimus species, like Paragonimus westermanni species, also known as oriental lung fluke. This species requires three different hosts to complete the life cycle. The first intermediate host is snail. Second intermediate host is crayfish or crab. And the last definitive host is the humans. We see the parasitic transmission is via fecooral root. Now let's see the life cycle of lung fluke in detail. First we start the cycle from infected crayfish shown in the diagram. We see we have the crayfish here. The raw or undercooked crayfish contains encysted metasarcaria larva. After eating the infected crayfish, the metasarcaria larva reaches the duodenum part of gut. Here the metasarcaria exist in the duodenum and then penetrate the intestinal wall. And from here these larvae migrate through tissues to the pleural cavities. Here in the lung pleural cavities they become encapsulated and develop into adults. Then adult fluke releases eggs out of these capsules into bronchioles which are excreted into sputum or alternatively these eggs are swallowed and passed with stool. So ultimately these eggs reach the fresh water. Upon reaching the fresh water we see the eggs hatch into meresidium. Then these free swimming meresidium enters the snail shown in the diagram. This is the second intermediate host. Within the snail meresidium develops into radia which reproduces asexually to produce radia as shown in the diagram. And we also see several cercaria develop within the radia shown in the diagram. These cercaria leave the snail and enters the crayfish. And finally within the crayfish these cercaria ancestors to produce metacercaria. And then the cycle continues. Now if we see the clinical manifestation of pulmonary paragonomiasis, we get the chronic cough, hemoptysis, bronchiitis, chest pain with dyspnea and fever. We also see some pleural effusion and many more manifestations. So this is the pathology of lung fluke and its life cycle. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.